Hey there everybody, Pop on Top here. Welcome back to some more Fallout 4 mods. In today's mod, we have a weapon to go get here out of the Museum of Freedom. And I'll see you guys when we find it. So, here's the weapon inside the Museum of Freedom. It's down here by where you get the fusion core at for like the press and guard thing. My particular gun case has loaded in purple. Um, because the textures I haven't loaded in. That's when mod conflicts and stuff or stuff like that happens. I'm gonna shoot this and open it up. And then I get an FG-42, very classic World War II, one assault rifle. Semi-auto right now. The reload animation at least seems to work, is extremely quick. You only get 10 rounds though. This makes me think, I'm trying to think, what have I, what are, I think the FG-42 was like a gun Call of Duty World War II. It's the last time I remember using this thing, so I cannot believe what the call name is it. I mean, it's got weird look, that's kind of weird looking iron sights, but... We'll, we'll test it all out. We're going to take it to a weapon workbench here first, though. That is the only real location that you can get this weapon to. It's, like, really hard to find. So, But the, the weapon model does look nice. Unfortunately, the case does not because the texture didn't load in for me. But I'll see you guys at my weapon workbench. Okay, I just made the game daylight and everything so we can see the weapon model nice. It's, like, the texture quality is good. There's, like, some, like, decent, even some decent reflection quality on there. Like, you know, which is pretty interesting. Right? So let's take it to the weapon workbench though, because obviously we want to make a big old clip full auto, all the kinds of crazy things. Seems pretty typical for your your receivers here, just like every other assault rifle, combat rifle, everything in the game. Advanced receiver if you want to go maximum semi-automatic, and the powerful automatic if you want to go maximum automatic, with the same differences in fire rate and damage as you would normally find with an assault rifle in this game. So you get a long barrel, or a barrel with a bayonet. So we're just going to leave a long barrel, because I don't really need the bayonet. Or a regular stock, or a short stock. I think the short stock is just lighter, so we'll see how that goes. And then we want the biggest, largest med quick eject. There's not a huge amount of attachment variety here so far. You got a reflex scope. I mean, some of these scopes are going to be older, though. Obviously, that's part of the deal. There wasn't a huge amount of attachments in World War II. It's cool that you get a night vision scope. I imagine it's just going to work just like the short scope, right? And the regular night vision scope in the game, because you just look through it and then you see what you see. So let's take a look at, like, maybe like a combat scope. So we got a compensator, which we got by default on there, or a suppressor. We'll put a suppressor on there. We'll try that out. Um, binding, very minor improvement to damage, so you can increase his damage this way. I don't, I don't like this. This is bad. I mean, it does require riflemen at least and gun nuts, so like you have to be really good at rifles to make it do more damage. I really just prefer how most mods handle it, where it's like plus or minus such and such percent or whatever. Just putting that out there. So these are all my paints. These are just normal. See, like it's usually it's it's using like a combat rifle model or something by default or something because it's like placing these paints in here. Obviously the paints aren't actually working, so there's no material here. Um, yeah, so that's that's it. This is a huge mod, okay? Like to that's a that's a that's a nice looking pullout animation. I wanna I wanna put that out there. I'm gonna give it props where I can give it props. What have we got twenty round clip here with the large version and then quick eject is is quick, right? It's not saying it's not quick enough or anything like that, but And this is a nice scope. It's like a nice maybe like two time scope. Not like where you're like taking up your whole screen or whatever, but you can like zoom in on some people, pick some people off with some suppressed shots. But there's there's not a lot of change here. The model does look nice, but be part of probably because part of the problem is the because the model looks so nice that it has a high texture quality. The file size is large, you got 150 megabytes here on console. Um, this is the 2K version, so it is 2K, nice looking textures, but you don't have any customization of the textures. There's no actually things you can really change up here. You can make the magazine bigger, you can put a scope on there, you can put a suppressor or compensator, you can change the barrel to have a bayonet or not a bayonet, essentially. You can change the stock from longer to shorter, and that's, and make it, you know, the regular receiver stuff. But receivers don't really dramatically change up how the weapon looks, it changes up the damage ratio, essentially, right? That's just like regular scaling things throughout the game. As you get more gun nut, the gun gets more powerful, automatic or semi-auto. And that's your choices with receivers. And every gun has that stuff. There's not a huge amount here. It is a classic, iconic World War II weapon, though. And we're going to go test it out in some combat. So maybe I'll be changing my mind with how like, it performs in combat. Without any of the damage changes, though. Because the damage changes need to be not just like... Because, like, minor damage. It's, it literally just says, like, look, if we look at this. Uh, I'm not, I don't like being super critical or whatever, but this bothers me, okay? But like it, it says, it literally says minor damage. If we go to the, the the standard damage, very minor damage makes it seem like it's doing very minor damage, not very minor damage increase or minor damage, medium damage, deadly damage. Deadly damage makes it seem like it's going to do more damage. Yes, 
But, like, medium damage. Isn't that default? What's different between medium and standard? Like, in my head, medium and standard are the same thing. There's no increase. And obviously, maybe you can't fit that in there. You could just put the percentages, though. <laughs> like, I don't know. That's simple to me. Um, we'll test it out in some combat, though, and I'll see you guys when we get there. And I'll try to be less of a salty rage baby. All right, everybody. We're here in my Zombies Arena arcade mode. Let's just hop into it here. Super Duper Mart is fine. It's my preference. It's just a nice flat building. Very easy to see where the targets are. So let's see if we can shoot some things with this FG42 and be convinced more. I mean, the text, like I said, the texture quality is real nice, but it, it just lacks customization compared to a lot of other weapon mods, I feel like. The scope is really nice, too, though. I really do like this particular combat scope. So let's see if we can see where the raiders have spawned in here, right here. Nice suppressed shots. Took a couple. It is fully automatic, though. I'm, a, I'm an automatic fan myself, just to spray and pray, right? We're going to try to be sneaky-ish and see if we can see some people around here. There should be some back here, usually with the Zombies Arena Arcade mode, they spawn people back here. They did. Nice. I mean, that was one shot in the head with the sneak attack. It is a good gun. There's nothing particularly wrong with the weapon besides it lacks customizations. Some of you may find that actually beneficial because customization can become overwhelming and stuff like that. But in my particular preference, there's so many weapon mods that offer just vast amounts of customization or unique effects and kind of like some kind of gimmicky mechanic. I mean, gimmick has got a bad connotation, but like at least a mechanic that's interesting. This is just, it's a World War II assault rifle that's pretty much, it's just a reskinned combat rifle, right? For all intents and purposes. It's me. It's me. Who is it? It's me. Um, that should be everybody, I think. We also got a free legendary. That's the greatest thing about this mod that it has a zombie rear arcade mode. Um, we're going to escape, though. We, we got a good idea. It, it's, just, it's a combat rifle or a regular assault rifle from the base game with a World War II skin on it because it doesn't offer any necessary customization you don't get from any gun that currently exists in, in base Fallout 4. This is my rad storms. I don't know what's up with my rad storms. I don't know what's causing the effect to be, like, extremely thick. But, you know... The gun is still here, and it's a nice looking gun. Like I said, that's like the best feature about it is it's a really nice looking gun with 2K textures and stuff, but that does make the file size huge. And I don't know if it offers enough to, to warrant its large file size. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section down below. If you guys have enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like rating down below. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe. That way you can check out more videos from me. And pretty much other than that, you guys have a good rest of your day. Whatever it may be, and I will see you in the next episode.